I've always known there's something. I quickly became aware of this God who knew me and who wanted a relationship with me. A lot of the love in this world is conditional, but Jesus is different. He loves you because that's just who Jesus is. He's replaced my anxiety with his unconditional love for me. Home to me is about family. Family is all about comfort and supporting one another. No matter what I've done or said, he welcomes us into his family with open arms. Over to you then. Thanks so much. Uh, so would you welcome up our guest? Come on, Lizzie, come and sit down and come and sit down. Brilliant, Will. Fantastic. Uh, so, guys, give us your Durham stats. Go for it. Um, Lizzie Nowak, St. John's History. Fantastic. And what year are you in? A second year. Second year, okay. This one out. Um, I'm Will Hobbs. I'm a third year theology student from Collingwood. Collingwood, okay, amazing. And, um, and what, uh, you've, you've been in, what, what sort of stuff do you get up to at uni apart from your course and your age? What, what, what are you involved with? So um, tell us, Will, what do you do? <laughs> what do yeah. you do in your spare time? Well, this afternoon, I've got to give a shout out um, to my rugby team. We won the league this afternoon. So Amazing. Oh, 4 15. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Some of them will watch this on YouTube, boys. Congratulations. Yeah. So that was, so you're the, you're the captain of the Durham Force? Yeah, that's right, yeah. And uh, what position do you play? I play fullback. Fullback, okay. Yeah. So good at catching high balls? Supposedly. And good at kicking the ball? Yeah, I just try and stay away from sort of the ugly bits okay. of the game. Okay. Let other people work really hard and just sort of stand back and... Get the glory. Get the glory, yeah. How many points did you kick today? Um, I kicked 10 points and scored a try. So okay. 17, yeah. Did you... Oh, sorry. So, wow. So 17 in total. Yeah, and it, it was against Newcastle. <laughs> Um, so against yeah. Newcastle, are they are they like the local rivals? They are, are they? the local rivals. It's always nice to just absolutely hammer Newcastle. So yeah, yeah, it's been a good day. It's wow, been fun. amazing! Yeah, yeah, it's amazing, fantastic. Yeah. And um, how about you, Lizzie? Did you defeat a local rival that's fought today? Or um, no so okay rivals defeated. <laughs> and I don't tend to run around a rugby pitch, but I do run around Durham, um, having coffee with my lovely friends, and sometimes I ask people what they're wearing. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've seen on my Instagram or not, it's but it's yeah. like an endurance sport of its own, really. I mean, it's yeah, yeah, very yeah, similar. Yeah. So yeah, tough, tough, tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, and uh, Lizzie, so Ted, and your, your, so you said you're doing history. Who's your, who's your favourite, who's your favourite figure in history? Yeah, I do. I'm quite fond of Elizabeth the first. Um, nothing to do with sharing a name, but she, <laughs> I just think she's great. She um, practiced religious tolerance. Um, she ruled without a king. Yep. Women, you don't need a man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and yes, yeah, she led an army against Spain and won. Led an army against Spain and won. Mm. Yep. Okay, great, fantastic. <laughs> um, and how about you, Will? What subject are you reading in? Yeah, I read theology. Theology. Who's your favourite theologian? It's got to be Jesus, isn't it? Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the answer's always um, okay. And apart from that. Do you probably know any others? <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably say Augustine. He's Augustine, had a couple of shout okay. outs this week and for good reason. Augustine okay. is a yeah, he's a noble man. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Very brave of you both to be interviewed in front of all these people. Actually, quite a lot of people here now. Um, in front of all these people. So so Lizzie, you kick us off. So um, you know, uh, this week there's a number of things been going on, but the most important thing that I've picked up this week, um, from the students I've spoke to is 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 people are either really captivated by Jesus, or they're trying to work out who Jesus is, or they're trying to work out how they should respond to Jesus. And that seems to be like a key thing that people are wrestling with. And I just wondered for you, what, what, what do you find amazing about Jesus? Hmm. Yeah, I, I think he's amazing because he's given me the opportunity to know him. Um, I think that's what separates Christianity from all other religions, um, is that I know a relational God. I know a God who left heaven and came down to earth um, to be here amongst us. And he said, Lizzie, I want to be your friend. Um, and yeah, I said, I want to be your friend too. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I think...
Yeah, how did, how did, what, how did you, because it might, someone might be here and they're like, wow, that sounds quite intense. Like, Jesus actually asked to be your own personal friend. Like, how did that happen? How, d- how did that, like, or like, what, wh- how, d- how, d- what does that look like for you on, like, a practical day-to-day basis? Hmm. Um, you mean, how does, how does Jesus being my friend look like in yeah. my life? Yeah. Um, I suppose, yeah, when I'm, when I'm running around Durham doing X, Y, Z, um, there's a, there's a dialogue, there's a, there's a relationship there. It's not just, um, I don't just read the Bible passively or I don't just pray up to like an empty space. I pray to a God who I believe created the universe. I believe created me. Um, and you know, in the high points, in the low points, in the moments where um, I'm like, yes, this is great. I can say to God, yeah, thank you. And in the moments that are hard, I can say, um, yeah, God, this is really hard. Please help. Hmm. Yeah. And how about you, Will? I mean, how, wha- what have you learned about Jesus over the last, uh, last three years? Yeah, I think that's a great question. Um, I think <laughs> Jesus is just... There's only one Jesus, isn't there? Um, he's just not like anyone else. There's um, another place for city as well. But Jesus, <laughs> correct. Gabriel, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, he's but good on the right I mean, wing. So there's two. I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah, you're I the mean, theologian, but I think there's a couple, yeah. I mean, <laughs> already <laughs> done. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's an interesting one. I think, look, when it, it just fascinates me at university, when someone, I hear the name Jesus every day, um, whether someone believes in Jesus as their Lord and Savior, I don't think that's Gabriel Jesus, but whether they're, they're talking about him like Lizzie's talking about or whether they stub their toe, they don't say, you know, oh, Cristiano Ronaldo when they stub their toe. They say, yeah. they say, they often say Jesus. Um, and I'm sure we'll get onto it, but as Lizzie said, like, l- life goes up and down. Um, Jesus doesn't. You know, he's, he's there through it all. He is constant. Um, and the claim of Christians is that he's true, he offers true life and life that that actually will never end and, and it will never change. The reality that Jesus loves us as Christians and his people will never change. Other realities, they all have kind of sell-by dates. So I'll leave Durham next year. I won't be a Durham student anymore. Um, every other reality at some point will just go. But the reality that Jesus is king, we think as Christians, that's never going to change. Mm. Um, and that's just that's massive. Hmm. And Lizzie, how about you? I mean, how, what difference has Jesus made in some of the kind of, you know, it hasn't been the easiest two years for lots of people. And I just wonder what, what difference your friendship, because it's quite a powerful word, friendship, mm. your friendship with Jesus has made for you over the last couple of years. Yeah. I think um, it's characterized my other friendships. You know, when you, you know somebody great, um, they show you what a, a fantastic friendship can look like. And I suppose that's changed the way that I interact with other people around me. Um, you know, my best friend, I, I asked my best friend, you know, do you think I've changed at all since I became a Christian? And she just said, um, you just went 100% in. You know, you really, you, you became much more intentional. You became, um, yeah, just a a better friend and I suppose as a result of seeing his character seeing who he is um, seeing this man who's willing to lay down everything for me um, leave like you know leave heaven to come to earth um, it's like coming to uni I live in a you know slightly grottier house than I do at home Um, and like the difference between my home to my home in Durham is nothing in comparison to the difference that between heaven and earth and so yeah I've just seen what great friendship looks like and I suppose that helps me to be a better friend to those around me Mm. um I can see some of them in the crowd and I hope they agree (laughs) no they're not (laughs) (laughs) I'm sure they're nodding very heartily I just can't see their faces that's amazing that's amazing Lizzie and um well, how about you? What, what difference has Jesus made in, in the difficult times in life? Uh, um, thanks for that. I think, I think 
what, one example that springs to mind for me um, that really kind of just made me think, actually, you know, Jesus is making these claims. Are they true? Um, and Jesus claims a lot. He claims to be, to be greater than death. He claims to have defeated death. Um, and I, when, I was, when I was younger, I lost someone who was very close to me. Um, and th- th- this guy, sort of, maybe on, on a Durham student level, on a, on a worldly level, if you like, his life ticked every box. So he, he played for England at, at rugby. He had a great family, had a great job, had a great, great life. You know, he, he, he ticked all the Durham student boxes, if you like. Um, and then one day, he was gone. Um, and that, that, that vanished. And it makes you think. You're like, right, so this stuff that everyone is saying is going to fulfill you, is going to complete you, actually, you know, one day it's gone. Um, and, and as a Christian, I was brought up in a Christian family. I'm so grateful for that, um, as we're going to speak about. But you're, you're brought up thinking and, and being taught, you know, Jesus came down. Um, into this broken world, and whoever believes in him, because he died a, a proper death, and he, and he actually rose, he actually rose from the dead, that's the claim. Whoever believes in him will live even though they die. And this guy was a Christian. And it was quite important to me at that point, you're like, right, this is either true or it's not. You know, this guy is either alive with his Savior Jesus, or he's not. You know, and, and no impressiveness, no CV, no family, no anything, can mean anything now. All that matters at this point is, is his relationship with Jesus. So I questioned, I was like, right, is, is this legit? Is Jesus legit? And wonderfully, I had a relationship with him. I knew him. I examined the evidence. But I knew him. I had a relationship with him. I knew Jesus. And uh, guys, the claim of all of us here who are Christians who brought you guys along is this guy's legit. He's a real deal. He actually came. He actually lived. He actually died. He actually rose again. And if you believe in him, you will actually rise again with him. And life won't just flicker out like everything else. Actually, death's not the end. Um, And so that was a moment where I was just like, I look back now and I'm thinking, Jesus is amazing. Um, He's real and he's forever. And yeah, he's awesome. Amazing, Will. And, um, and Lizzie, how about you? If, you? if there was someone here tonight and they're like, well, I like the idea of Jesus as a friend, but I, I don't really know what, what I would do, how I would make that happen. What would your advice be to them about what, what's, what's a good next step to take if they want to explore that or kind of think about that? Mm. Um, you know, I think I said earlier, there's this man, Jesus, has reached out a hand and he's saying, I want to be friends with you. Um, and you might look at me and think, oh, she's the Christian. They chose to be on the stage, ask the questions. She must be extra Christian or something. I don't know. Um, but no, I'm exactly the same as everybody in this crowd. Um, we're all the same in that we were born um, separate from God, not knowing him. And cr- people who identify as Christian um, have said, yes, I'm willing to take that offer. Yes, um, I will walk into a new life with you. Yes, Jesus, I do believe you died for me. Um, and that's the only thing that's different. It's not anything they did off their own accord. It's um, they've just said, Jesus, you've done it all for me, and I'm willing to take, I'm willing to accept what you've done. And so, yeah, all I would say is if you're in the crowd um, and you're like, you know, I like the sound of this Jesus guy, or um, I want to know more about him. I'd say, yeah, really just, like, read the Bible. Read your Luke Gospel on your chair. Um, The the time an hour and a half has been thrown around is the amount of time that it takes to read it. An hour and a half. I spend more time on Instagram a day probably than that. Like, I don't know, TikTok, anything. I waste an hour and a half easily. Um, read it, explore who he is for yourself, and um, if his person and um, 
the c- if you if you can if you believe that he is who he claims to be, if you find um, his claims to be true, if you say yes, okay, Jesus, you are who you say you are, then all you need to do is take that hand that he's extended. He's he's given you the invitation of friendship. All you have to do is say Jesus, yes. Um, you can do that by praying. Um, yeah. It can be as simple as, Jesus, I'm ready for you to be my Lord and Savior. I'm ready to be your friend. And yeah, it's that simple. There's no sorcery. There's no magic. There's no bells, whistles, lights, anything. It's really that simple. Thanks, Lizzie. And um, and well, what would you say if someone was here and they're like, well, it's interesting, <laughs> I like the idea of it, but is it that big a deal, really? I mean, can't I just crack on and then maybe when I'm like, you know, 75 or 80, you know, and um, I've had quite a fun life, then then I can just, like, you know, settle down a bit, you know, go to some country church, do a little thing, read a little book, do a prayer, and then that's the time I can just close the deal. But, like, what would you say to them? Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that. Um, and I think like one of Jesus' claims, uh, he makes a lot of them in John's Gospel, he says, one of them is, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And in being in relationship with Jesus, I know that. Um, as, as a human person, um, I think we're all like this as humans. Every day, I reject God's way. There's something in my heart that says, do you know what, God? I, I like your stuff. I like your world. But I want to make decisions my own way. I do that every day. Um, and every time I've done it, it's never paid off. I've never felt more fulfilled. I've never felt pleasure that's been lasting, it's just been rubbish. It's never fulfilled me. And, and the world always says, oh, it will. You know, God's boring. It's probably not real. Um, going my way has never paid off. So Jesus is the way. It's the best life with Jesus. Uh, he says he's the truth. And, and as, as someone who knows Jesus, I, I agree. <laughs> I think he is the truth. Um, I think the evidence, the hardcore data stacks up that he's not in the tomb anymore. He's alive. He rose again. Um, I know that from the from the facts, but also that, that I know him. I speak to him every day. I, I see him work in the world. I see him work in people who I'm around in my life. Um, so, yeah, he is the truth. Um, and is he the life? Well, well yes. Um, it's life. It's life fully fulfilled now. Life in a relationship with Jesus. It's not just something to leave to the end. I mean, who knows when the end is? I mean, that's crazy. But uh, it's fulfilled life now. But it's also eternal life. And you can't get there anywhere else. Like, you just can't get eternity. Everything has a sell-by day. Everything's just going to go apart from eternal life, right? Um, and, and the wonderful thing Lizzie was saying about Christians is that I can be convinced, we can be convinced of eternal life because of our relationship with God. And that relationship, it's not dependent on us impressing God. It's not, I don't need to get a high two one or look a certain way, or scrub up nicely and impress God. He knows me way better than that. Like, he knows every heart decision I've ever made and ever will make. So like, his love goes deeper than that. I don't need to impress him. That won't work. But the Bible says, while we were still sinners, while we were still rejecting God, Christ died for us. And there's a great song I, I heard in lockdown. And it's, it says, our, the chorus is, our, our sins, our rejections of God are many, but his mercy is more. So it's, he knows my brokenness. He knows my heart. I don't need to impress him because that won't work. He loves me for who I am, and his mercy, his love for me is greater than my weakness. So I can be convinced. I can be convinced of my eternal life. You can be convinced of your eternal life if you're in a relationship with Jesus because it's based on how he loves you, not because of how you've impressed him. So way, truth, life. Guys, get involved. Like, don't leave it. <laughs> Leaving it doesn't make sense because how long are you going to leave it? Who knows what that's going to be like, but don't leave it. Guys, yeah, that's our message. This is the best life, and it's life that's not going to end. It's going to be eternal because it's in Jesus, and it depends on him, and he's done it. Amazing. Thank Can you I so much, Lizzie. Can oh, sorry. I just say yep. one thing that I thought was so good? It's the, it's the fact in, in our brokenness, in our, in our flaws, in our... Um, I don't know, all of the things when you look at yourself and you're really honest or um, in your moments where you're like, do you know what, that was bad, that was really bad. 
um, in your like uh oh moments, he still says, I choose you. He still says, you are the best. He still says, I sent my son to die for you. He still says, I love you. And yeah, being chosen like that, being chosen first, um, it's, yeah, it feels so good. Feels, that's the best part. Lizzie, uh, Will, thank you so, so much. Can we thank them? Thank you.